it wasn't too long ago this area right here was our garden we spent hours upon hours upon hours building our soil building our beds working on you know different techniques every year improving our harvest year over year over year so what happened to it why is it like this what's going on guys welcome back to the farm thanks for joining us today and like i said in the beginning we are sitting in our old garden well let me tell you plans definitely change out here Originally, when we put this garden in, it was the only thing we were doing here on the farm. We had a couple chickens, we had this garden, and it's actually pretty far away from our house. So I've mentioned this in the past, um, and it definitely is um, our design flaw, probably one of my biggest design flaws that I've had here, because I have put, I mean, honestly, probably a couple hundred hours into this garden and building the, the soil here, and it's all for nothing. Well, at least I thought it was all for nothing. So this was our garden until we decided to get sheep. Um, and, and where we are at right here, um, it just made sense to put fencing in here and make this our first um, sheep pasture, which is now our pig pasture. But um, throw you back a little bit. Our sheep were in here first. Um, it didn't take long for them to actually get into our garden. Um, they, they say sheep don't really destroy much, but they went right through our wire fence and eventually um, started taking on the garden a little bit. Um, that year when we got them, um, I, I was still able to get a, a pretty good size harvest, but I knew that we were going to have to change our garden up. Um, it just became a, a nuisance, you know, coming into the fence, you had to open the gate every time. And anyone that has garden knows that um, a long walk like we have here, it's just not ideal. You know, the more advanced you get um, with your garden, the more time you're going to need um, in there. And we just, you know, we, we couldn't do it. You know, you, you walk 100 yards to, to go pick a couple weeds. You know, it's, it's just not practical. So that's why this year we moved it closer. But anyway, fast forward to this year when we got our pigs in here. Pigs are going to decimate pretty much um, anything you have in, in their way. So um, you can see here this fence pretty much destroyed and i'm going to get up now and we're going to show you around here a little bit you know you, you can see the pigs you know pretty much knock down majority of the fence here so while that is um certainly something that i'm gonna to have to come in here and clean up because this is a it looks like a war zone it looks like a bomb went off um they did unlock something new and um, actually really got my gears turning towards um what what they can do for your soil so this, this is where i'm standing right now um, was our old beds and look at this soil these pigs have been in here now minus some of the wires that you really have to be careful because you don't want your pigs um, getting tangled up you don't want them chewing on stuff like this so we're going to get rid of this that's why when i come over here you know i just throw stuff in a bucket and get rid of it little by little um, but look at this soil i mean you you come in here i mean look at look how soft look how dark this soil is from these pigs rooting up now granted, this was a lot of years of composting, a lot of years of building soil, but the pigs are gonna come in here and they're gonna upturn everything. So basically, if you're not gonna plant anything, you know, weeds are gonna come up. So that's what this was most of the spring. The pigs really didn't bother this spring, um, but now they're really starting to get in here. You know, we had a bunch of volunteer uh, plants coming up. I had some volunteer uh, tomatillos right here. You can see they're laying on the ground and the pigs are, are working this uh, ground wonderfully right now. So it actually made me um, really excited on what they're doing. I'm going to let these pigs in here do their thing for a while. And then I'm going to probably uh, scoop up some of the soil for our new garden over a lot closer to our house. Can't ask for better stuff than this. I mean, minus it, yes, of course, you're going to get a couple of, you know, the old, the old cuttings that we had here. But look at this stuff. I mean, it's perfect. So we can come in here, we can, we can honestly, we can grab it by the bucket, um, we'll throw it over in our other beds and that's gonna improve our beds drastically. We also, and something that we actually were doing today a little bit, um, you take your, your lawn mower, if you have a push mower with a bag on it, um, that's fantastic for this time of year, the leaves fall, you mow over those leaves and you're gonna have little crushed up leaves. Throw those leaves down, throw some of this soil, you know, again, throw, throw this stuff right on top. Um, and you're going to have some of the best soil that you can ask for come next season. So um, definitely really, really exciting stuff. Um, you know, I thought this go this garden was completely destroyed. I thought I was just going to have to come in here, clean up some old fence wire, some old, old broken off posts. But um, we're actually going to get something back out of this. Again, we had a, a couple really, really good harvests out of this garden. 
Um, so it pained me a little bit to, uh, to actually, you know, kind of abandon it and move on. But if you're going to keep pigs, you're going to keep animals over here. You just, you, you can't have a garden in the middle of it. It's just not ideal. Again, it was a design flaw on our end and you know, that's all part of learning. What are you thinking? This guy's coming in to, uh, I guess, continue the work. So while it was definitely a design flaw, you know, putting our garden there in the first place, you know, we're gonna take what we can get out of it. We're gonna salvage what we can, um, and the soil is going to be incredible for us. Um, a couple things you can learn, you know, first of all, really, really think about where you're gonna put your garden. Um, don't put it far away from your house. It just, it doesn't work. I know I've said this a couple times on our channel before. It really just doesn't work. You know, keep it close to your house. Keep it somewhere that you're gonna be every day. Another thing you can learn, you know, if you're gonna have a garden, don't put your pigs near it. You know, it's just the nature of the beast. They're gonna get in. They're gonna find a way to get through that fence. But if you do have a weedy patch that you wanna get rid of um, and you wanna till up naturally, pigs are the way to go. So we knew um, that the pigs were actually gonna do that. Um, but I even underestimated, you know, what type of job they were going to do. So it honestly surprised me um, how clean they, they made that area. And just another piece of information for you, another tip out here on the farm, um, another use case for pigs. If I haven't shown you already um, how beneficial pigs are, aside from having pork, um, definitely check out our other videos because, you know, they have provided a ton of different benefits for us. As much as they can be a pain and as much as they like to break out, um, you know, once you, once you can kind of harness that and keep them in, um, very valuable animals to have here on your farm. So check out our other videos um, above and thanks for watching today, guys. And if you like what we're doing, you know, give us a thumbs up as always. You guys can always uh, support us by subscribing to the channel. We really, really appreciate it. And guys, it is a beautiful Sunday afternoon here. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching.